everyone, this is Melissa. Welcome, Melissa. Backstage is Melissa's estranged husband, Josh. You see, why are they estranged? Because not only did Melissa find another woman's sex toy wedged between the seats. The day Melissa was scheduled for a C-section to, del to deliver their baby, Josh, Josh just disappeared from the hospital with another woman. Almost missed the birth. Watch. When I married my husband, Josh, he was my best friend. And when I found out I got pregnant, that was the best thing in my whole life. But since we've been married, all he's done is lie and cheat on me. I was cleaning out our van, and I found a sex toy in some of my clothes. I asked him who did it belong to, and he kept on telling me it was mine, and it wasn't. I was so excited the day that I went to go to the hospital to have Grayson. I sat there and waited for 45 minutes on him. He almost missed the birth of our son because he was with some other girl. I love this man more than anything in the world, and we've been separated for six weeks, but I just can't trust him. I want this marriage to work, but if he doesn't pass this test, I'm going to file for a divorce. He's got to pass the test. He's got to pass the test, or we will get a divorce. And you've already thought about those consequences. We, I have for a very long time. But you want your marriage to work. More than anything, Josh is my best friend. He's a great friend. He's a great husband. He is. But, but when we're separated and he's at work or I'm at work, there's always questions. There's always something coming up. What did he say when you found the sex toy in the car? He said that my mom is the one that bought it for me, that I have showed him that toy. That is not mine. This is what Josh has to say, watch. I'm here to get my family back. I love Melissa and her son Grace, and I'll do anything to make this right. I need my wife to know I've never cheated on her. All those rumors going around that I was having lunch breaks with another woman, that I hit on one of her family members, that I used a sex toy that she found in a van with another woman, are nothing but vicious lies. I'm trying to save my marriage. If this test is the answer, then that's what I'm going to do. Well, good, Josh. You can, because here you are. Here's Josh. <laughs> Josh, because you wouldn't do any of those things. No, I haven't done anything. You wouldn't do anything with that sex toy, would you? No. You wouldn't do it. It was hers. No, 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 best friend. He's a great husband and a great you, dad. We asked you, have you contacted your ex and tried to have sex with her? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. That's what I thought. Not a surprise. We asked you, don't you get do up. you regret marrying Melissa? You admitted you do yeah. regret marrying Melissa. Okay. With the women people were claiming you were cheating with, you said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Well, why? Well, why? Why? Well, I'm letting you know that if you don't want to be with me, you ain't got to. I ain't no desperate bitch out here. Nobody said that. Any type of sexual contact with another woman while you have been living in separate states? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Oh my God! Oh, well, that's good. That's good. We asked you, did you have any type of sexual contact with a woman on the day that Melissa was scheduled for her C-section? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. During your relationship with Melissa, have you had any type of sexual contact with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth.
if I were you, I would go home and give your family what for, okay?